Peace, oh please, it's obvious. Okay, I'm not sure, but I might have been abducted by aliens, or I just walked in to some alien meeting. Here, let me explain. I might take me places far where I want to be. It's no option, we win and we got it. So, I wake up and it's pure darkness. Pure darkness, I can't see anything. And my eyes might have even remained closed, right? But I didn't wake up exactly where I was in my actual bed. I woke up like somewhere else. I was somewhere else and I didn't know where I was. I was trying to go fall asleep. I was trying to fall asleep and I heard all these sounds like all around me. Like all these sounds, like all people talking. I heard all this chatter all around. It was so loud and I was just trying to fall asleep because I didn't know what was going on. I'm just like, can I go to sleep? So I started yelling out loud, like, can you shut up? Like, I'm trying to fall asleep here. Like, I'm try like someone's trying to sleep here. Can you shut up? Like, I, I literally kept repeating that maybe like five or six times because I was just trying to fall asleep. I didn't know where I was, you know. Obviously, I wasn't lucid. Not, a, not, not at that point, right? I wasn't lucid yet. So I'm yelling that, and then all of a sudden, like, I feel a presence, like, right next to me. Like, right next to me, I feel this presence. And it's kind of freaking me out. It's kind of freaking me out. So I just, I keep my eyes closed and all of a sudden I like wake up and I'm still in that same spot. I'm in that same bed, not my actual bed actually. I'm not in my actual bed. I was in this other place. I woke up and there was no more of that chatter all around me. And then I'm like, okay, um, <laughs> the sound, all that chatter is gone, but I'm kind of freaked out to fall asleep because of that thing that was like, or, or that presence that was right next to me. That was, it was creeping me out. So I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't go back to bed, but I just decided, all right, let's do it. Let's just, I'm just gonna fall asleep and whatever. So I'm in this place, I'm falling asleep. So I'm having like a dream within a dream, I, I don't know. So I'm trying to fall asleep and all of a sudden, I, I guess I wake up. It's kind of hazy right here. I, I guess I wake up. There's um, a, a little bit of chattering going on. I think, I, if that's how I remember. And I walked over, I peered in front of these beings. They're around me and they're, they kind of, they kind of seem chill. Like they, 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 I don't feel any like evil presence or anything like that. And basically my vision was really, really like poor. It was very hard. It was, it was hard to see. It was really difficult to see. And I've only had these experiences where it was difficult to see is when I would go out of body and my vision was not accustomed to the astral projection because it was new to me, right? So, and it's still somewhat new to me. And I wasn't able to see that clearly. I could barely see them. Like I could see these figures kind of, it was really, it was kind of like dark and hazy. So it, it's hazy. And I guess we're like, we're, we're talking about something or I'm witnessing them communicate about something because actually I don't remember physically talking. It feels like it was kind of like telepathy where they were, I was picking up on what they were saying to each other and um, what they were saying to me. And I, I couldn't really like understand, I, I don't remember. I don't remember what the conversations were about. I don't remember. I start to, I start to realize that I'm in a dream and this is a dream. And all of a sudden, I, I start trying to look at them, and it's getting clearer and clearer. Everything's kind of coming out of, coming into focus. It's it's opening up, and I'm starting to see a lot more vividly, right? So I'm looking at these beings, and I realize that they're aliens. I realize that they're aliens, and they they um, it's it's hard to remember exactly what their faces look like, but they all kind of look. I feel like I remember they all kind of look a little different. Like they all had a little different faces, but I noticed that all of them had shiny green on them. They had shiny green on their skin. And I was I was like, y'all, you are all beautiful. Y'all are beautiful. <laughs> I, I said that to them. Cause I've never seen anything like this in real life. So I'm like, y'all, you are all beautiful. <laughs> They're all, they have this shiny green. I noticed that was the, the thing that they all had in common. They all had that. And look at their bodies. They're not even wearing clothes, actually. They're not even wearing clothes. I was like, so how do, how would you know which one's female 
which one's male i look like you know down there and it, i think i remember it was it was kind of smooth and it seemed like there was maybe kind of like a darker spot maybe but um yeah and, and so then i i tell them like you were all in my dream you were all in my lucid dream and and then this one fellow he, we, i guess we start walking over somewhere he tells me no nah. they're like they i tell as i tell them this they all kind of look at me and they're like no nah. no nah. <laughs> This, uh, the one guy is like, nah, this, this is real, this is real, this isn't your lucid dream. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I guess I believe that even in lucid dreams, there are different realities. And he's like, see, this guy gets it. He said something like that, right? And by the way, I think this is all telepathy because I don't remember talking, but. So he says, see, this guy gets it. And then all of a sudden, it fades out and I'm awake in my actual bed this time. So, I'm awake in my actual bed, right? The, it, the story doesn't end here. So I wake up and I'm super shocked because I've never had an experience like this, ever. I've never had an experience like this where I was speaking to alien entities. I never had that kind of uh, dream or even astral projection, never had anything like that. And so I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like thinking about this and I'm like, I remember thinking throughout the whole experience, like, I'm so cold. I, I remember feeling like I was so cold and then I woke up and actually, I was actually kind of cold. I was, I was like freezing. <laughs> and just thinking about this whole experience, I was getting chills. I was getting chills because it seemed so realistic. It was like really vivid. And it, usually when I, I remember something really vivid, a lucid dream that's really vivid or an astral projection that's really vivid I can usually like at least remember the face but I couldn't remember any of their faces what they actually looked like all I remembered was they had kind of like they had kind of like smooth bodies and that they had the shiny green that connected all of them. so that that's like all I remember and I was like that was that's interesting like that's all I can remember and so I immediately start writing this down this experience as I get to the point point where I'm typing out how I announced that they were in my dream and how they told me that that was real and how that even lucid dreams could be alternate realities and how the being told me see this guy gets it as soon as that happened I heard a loud sound coming from here and so like my house kind of makes noises like it kind of creaks but it so I was like okay it could have been that right but it was right around the time right when I wrote that I heard that loud noise coming from right here and then not even like a minute goes by I hear what it sounds like someone almost like stepped here because my floor kind of makes sound when you step this it's, it's, it's wood and it sounded like almost like someone stepped here I heard that like creak in the in the floor and then not even like two minutes goes by I hear I'm still thinking about this whole experience I'm getting chills to how I'm hearing these sounds right after I wrote that line and I hear a sound right behind my head where I'm sleeping. I hear a loud sound behind my head and I'm just like, oh my God, right? Oh my God, this is crazy. Like I hear all these loud sounds happening right as I write the part of the experience. And so I'm looking around and, and I, I saw a little like, almost like a little orb. Like sometimes I see this pinpoint, like a little pinpoint of light. And so I did notice that over here. I noticed that little pinpoint of light. And so, honestly, I was kind of getting freaked out. I was kind of getting freaked out, but I'm like, I'm reminding myself, like, I'm a, I'm a human, like, and I feel like there's nothing that can happen to me. There's nothing that can happen to me. I surrounded myself with loving light for protection, and I was asking for my guardian, my guardian angels to protect me. So, and I felt okay after that, but then I just felt overcome, so overcome with emotion, like, I'm thinking, like, Maybe all these sounds were also just telling me that this experience was real and it was true and it really did happen. Was I abducted by aliens? Did I get into this alien meeting or of some sort? Maybe. I'm not sure, honestly. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you think of this? Maybe all the sounds that were around me, I was, and when I couldn't see anything, it was pure black. Maybe it was the alien entities that were around me and I could hear them communicating to each other and maybe I, maybe I was the source of their experiment <laughs> maybe they're observing me for some reason 
I don't know. I'm not really sure what was going on, but it was a pretty trippy experience. Really weird experience. Yeah, I woke up. So yeah, this this all actually happened. I woke up at five in the morning as I started writing down the dream. So it happened at five in the morning. So this was my experience. I'm gonna be posting more astral projections slash lucid dream stories. I'm gonna I wanna post more of those. If you like this kind of thing, if you like that kind of thing, then subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications for all my new videos coming out. Till next time, peace out, please. Keep your mind at ease, it's obvious.